A few years ago, we purchased our first set of Cine Primes. And back then I was really on the fence between the Sigma Cine Primes and the Tokina Vista series. So I got this opportunity to test them side by side and make also a little fun clip on the beach with the, with the Tokinas. But I never got around to edit the side-by-side -side test. So I made a comparison between a 5 lens Sigma and Tokina set, uh, with focal lengths that not always match exactly, but they are comparable enough. So here it is. So let's start with the wide angle lenses. The difference between the uh, Tokina and the Sigma is of course a slightly wider field of view here, but other than that, not too many differences. So if we move to close focus on the Tokina, we can clearly see onion shaped uh, bokeh. Uh, and if we go to close focus on the Sigma, we see a much cleaner bokeh on the, on the wide angle 20 millimeter there. In the middle plane, we focus on the little scale model, that then was my graduation model for my architecture studies. Uh, we see uh, not too much of a difference. Let's do a, a flare test. The Tokina subtle flare there. When we compare the, the flare to the uh, to the Sigma, we can see that the Tokina actually flares quite a bit less and maintains uh, contrast a little bit better. It's it's a little more, more of a clean clean look there. We move to the 24 mm Sigma and then also the uh, Tokina. The first thing you notice is that the Tokina has a uh, yeah, softer contrast than, than the Sigma because they flare a little bit more. So when we move to close focus again, we see that the bokeh shapes of the Tokina are, there is some edge definition there, so some onion shapes as well. And the Sigma again is a lot uh, cleaner there, uh, which is a look that I personally do like. The Tokina flares a bit more. You can see also the reduction in contrast there. What you notice also with the Tokina is that the breathing is virtually absent, whereas with the Sigmas, the breathing is definitely, uh, definitely there and noticeable. Again, uh, the pan test, uh, left, right. Other than flare and breathing there and somewhat the bokeh shapes, uh, they're pretty, pretty similar. So then if we move on to the 35 millimeter Sigma, uh, supposedly the, the worst lens of the set, and we compare it to the Tokina, we see again on the Tokina, uh, the, the bokeh being slightly busier, slightly, well, you could say more character, but you can also say less clean. The Sigma seems to focus somewhat closer. And when we put it on the same focus plane, we, we, we can really compare the, the bokeh balls. And yeah, to my eye, the, the Sigma is somewhat more pleasing there. But you can clearly see a little bit of um, breathing already on the Sigma. It's personally not something that uh, bothers me a lot, but there are instances where it may distract, distract from the story. So in that sense, the Tokinas are cleaner than the Sigmas and I would love the Sigmas to not have this breathing. But okay, that's again because they are based on photo lenses, uh, whereas the Tokinas were developed specifically for, for cinema. And when we move to the 50 millimeter, we kind of see the same story again, the same observations. I have to admit that the Tokina bokeh here looks a bit cleaner than the wider angle lenses. Less definition. But still, there is some kind of, yeah, more of, an, uh, of a sharper edge, maybe. But it's, it's overall very, very comparable actually to the, to the Sigma. Uh, again, maybe the onion, onion rings, uh, they're, they're there a little bit more. You could, again, say it's a little bit more character. The flare, you can, you can, you can see there's a little bit more character there. And no breathing. That's actually very nice. We go again, the, the pan left and right on the 50 mil. Looks good, I have to say, it looks good. Yeah, with flares, it's more character, but it's also, it can also distract if it's, if it's too much. I think it's still very well controlled on the Tokina, I have to say. But yeah, no regrets with the Sigma purchase. And at the 85 mil, we kind of see uh, the same story again. Tokina, no breathing, 
whatsoever. Actually, the Sigma we will see when we change the focus does breathe. It's not terrible, but it's there. And uh, yeah, again, I think the bokeh on the, on the Sigma is a little bit more pleasing to my eye. But then again, keep in mind we're watching bokeh balls here. In, in real life situations, you will not often have these perfect highlights there. Uh, I think also the Tokina bokeh is actually quite, uh, quite fantastic. Again, the flare, the lower contrast because of it. You can see it on the Tokinas. So overall, actually, this, this is a fairly comparable set of lenses. I think they are both very great general purpose lenses. Uh, the Tokina may have a slightly more character than the Sigma. Sigma is a little bit more clean. Personally, I like clean. I like the, the clean look. I think we can achieve the look of our production also very well with uh, maybe the use of uh, filters on the lens or uh, yeah actually production design and lighting i think that should do more so than the lenses they're both a very great general purpose set of lenses the tokina clearly wins on uh, no breathing versus the sigmas that actually do breathe uh, quite a bit then again i think the bokeh of the sigma is cleaner there's less edge definition there is uh, no onion texture inside the, the bokeh balls and in terms of flaring i think it's it's also really a matter of taste uh, the flares are extremely well controlled on the sigmas you might say somewhat boring compared to the tokinas tokinas flare a bit more i mean flares give a bit of character a bit of texture to your image in the end i went for the sigma set mainly because of the bokeh also back in the days there were a little bit less expensive Overall, we're very happy with our Sigma set. I think they are a great set that can compete very well with more expensive glass. So thank you for watching. There will be another lens test coming up in which we test another set of anamorphics. So stay tuned also for that. Thank you very much.